What's going on, ladies and gents in Cyberland? Coming back to you with another animation. A Super Mario Brothers movie. Well, I gotta be honest, I did not see this one coming until last year. <laughs> I think a lot of us didn't. You know, there was a Super Mario Super Mario Brothers movie made, but it was not done correctly at all. It was a disa financial disaster. And we didn't get another film until now. There was some controversy with it, though, because people were feeling some type of way about Seth Rogen. I don't really particularly care for him too, many, too much anymore. He's kind of a dick. But mainly people had a problem with Chris Pratt. They felt his voice wasn't particularly a good Mario voice. They felt it should have been the guy who actually does the voice of Mario in the, in the games. However, now when I think about it, I think the reason why they didn't use him is because it probably has to do something with that the Writers Guild or whatever. There was probably some politics behind it in that only actors are you, you know, like almost like a pecking order, like this tier actors get dibs on this first before anybody else type shit because that's the only thing that would make sense why well I, I don't want to say it's the only thing but or maybe you turn it down but you know um just a lot of people had a real big big hissy fit about Chris Pratt doing Mario's voice they just felt he didn't do it does Chris Pratt is not the right choice for um, for Mario I personally didn't care I was just like, if the movie just sticks to Super Mario and does Super Mario justice, and that's all I care about. Mm -hmm. the, the voice, you know, there could have been better, but for the most part, I didn't have an issue. I didn't feel like I was listening to Chris Pratt when I watched the movie. And then the other casting that they did for all the voices, I was cool with that. I was surprised by... <laughs> um, Jack Black doing Bowser, because uh, it it just was you would you know if if they didn't say Jack Black, um, and then you find out it is was him, you'd be su totally surprised. Um, as far as the movie, it was entertaining. I enjoyed it. Uh, it was well written. It had so many Easter eggs in it. God, there were so many Easter eggs in this film, and it was for the gamers. It wasn't for... This film was not made for everybody. Um, please keep that in mind for those watching this review. This film is really for the gamers. If you played Super Mario, you know, 1 through 3, Super Mario... Like, they took... There was an element from almost every Mario game that I can say that I played. 1, 2, 3, World, 64, um... I don't think I don't think Odyssey was in here. I don't I don't recall any Odyssey Easter eggs. Um, and then Super Mario World Two. And then I would also say, but I can't say Galaxy or um, oh Galaxy yeah Galaxy had something in here, but I can't say Sunshine because I never played Sunshine. But I did notice something from Galaxy was in here. And, and it's, it's a homage to the fans. That's who the film was made for. It, it had a good story, but at the same time, it wanted to say, hey, remember this? Hey, remember this? Hey, and some people complain, there's too much of nostalgia. I'm like, then don't fucking watch the movie. Okay? I'm sorry if you don't, if, if, if you never played these games, that's your fucking problem. Just like when they make movies for you that you, that appease you, that's fine. So the same thing. This film was made for people like for gamers like me. If if that if that's too much of a problem for you, don't watch the film. And definitely when they come out with a sequel, don't fucking watch that either. You know, and I don't mean to go on a rant, but I get so tired of people when they say there's too much e there's too much nostalgia. Don't watch the movie then, because obviously if you have a problem with nostalgia, the nostalgia being thrown in the film, it's not for you. It wasn't meant for you. Go watch something else. How about that? The only thing, there was two things that bothered me about the film though. Number one, I felt there should have been more screen time with Luigi and Mario together as opposed to apart. 
that kind of bothered me a little bit. Number two, um, I didn't like the fact that we never got to see, unless unless they did it really fast when Mario and, and Donkey Kong were fighting together, um, it would have been nice to see them use the firepower. I didn't, you didn't get to see, uh, I don't recall any scenes where you see Luigi or Mario using the fire the firepower ability, which I was like, come on, man. That, 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 that's the, that was the first ability you get besides using the mushroom, you know? That, that's the, the one thing that kept, that saved your ass the majority of playing Super Mario Brothers 1. How could you not have that in here? So that, that was a little, eh. You should have been using that at some point. You know, Peach used it, but, man. Eh. My rating for the film was the 9 out of 10, yes, sirs. It's a great film. Definitely watch it if you're a gamer. And it's a great film if you're not a gamer, if you're just a kid, or if you just, it's a family film. It, it just, it was a really well done film. They really did their homework. <coughs> I am hoping, moving forward, I would like to see the Koopa Kids. The, the, the Koopa Kids from Super Mario Brothers 3 and Super Mario Brothers 4 or Super, 4, Super Mario World. I would like to see the Koopa Kids uh, be brought in. That would be really cool, just to see what they're, you know, and you can do a little backstory where, where it's a little different um, as opposed to, uh, you know, did they have a mom or they could have been manufactured or something. I would like to see that. So, uh, definitely. And then word on the street is there's probably going to be a, uh, a Zelda film too. So really looking forward to that if that's the case. So with that being said, you know, um, if you didn't watch Super Mario Brothers, definitely check it out. You're, you're missing out. It was probably one of the best films this, this year. That being said, I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.